my channel. I know you can hardly hear me. <laughs> we are in our Forest River Salem. We are renting this RV and I wanted to give you a little tour of what we brought in our rental RV. This video could get a little long, so, um, you know, I want to be as thorough as I can and let you know what we are bringing. So we're going to make a separate video talking all about what you need when you rent an RV, about renting an RV or a travel trailer, what you need to bring with you, things you should buy, that sort of thing. So get ready. All of that is coming. I'm very excited. Are you ready? All right. Let's tour. There's the air conditioner. It's very, very loud. And that's the air conditioner we brought from home. This is what you hear. If you live in Texas and you're in a thin walled travel trailer in the middle of August when the high temperatures are 102, you might need that. <laughs> so there's only one air conditioner in this RV. It is ducted, but uh, it needs to. Here is the front door. We do have a screen door. You can slide this to close it and then you are completely screened in from bugs. On a cooler day, you can open your door. When you come in the RV, this is exactly what you're going to see. The slide is open on this RV. We have a couple of chairs over here. These are just rocking chairs. They're not reclining chairs. We have a window here. This window blade uh, blind does not want to open. So that's as much as it opens right now. We are gonna work with it a little bit, see if we can't get it to open. So we have some light in here. This is the couch. It does fold out into a bed. I brought my own cover with me and a couple of pillows and a blanket. We don't have anything in there. This is the radio and the TV. Um, we should have brought with us about 35, 40 foot uh, cable, uh, coaxial cable, as there is cable TV provided at this site. So we're going to go pick that up at Walmart. We have a hand sanitizer station here. This is uh, cleansing wipes. This is hand sanitizer. I did bring with me this travel size diffuser. I will link this one for you. I love this little travel size diffuser. It's small, it's easy to take with you, and it packs a punch. This is our Apple TV. So uh, because the TV is not a Wi-Fi specific TV where we can hook up, it's not exactly working. We're still working on that. In here, I have my tech, which is over here. That is a backpack, a travel size backpack. And then of course we have the gloves. I use these so they're separated. These are my gloves, these are Rob's gloves. We have an emergency kit. We have some more sanitizer wipes, bug spray, and sunscreen. It's a little disheveled because when we were traveling, things fell. So keep that in mind. Anything you put in a cabinet can fall. So there we go. That's all that's in there. These are additional safety devices. Now your travel trailer, RV, motorhome, doesn't matter, should come with a smoke alarm and a gas detector. You want to make sure they function, but I still have two separate ones that I take with me. These go with me everywhere I travel, every single place I travel, hotel rooms, cruise cabins, it doesn't matter, these go with me. This is a portable carbon monoxide detector and this is a portable fire smoke detector. Smoke detector, not fire, smoke detector. So they go with me everywhere I go. They're very small. These, I believe, are rated for 10 years. I'm not 100%. I believe them linked for you. Um, I absolutely love them, and I've had them for about five years now, so it's probably time to replace them with newer models. See, that flash, let me know it's working. Over here is the dinette. And I have my little workstation here, little table, my cell phone, my iPad, um, all of my equipment, my purse, my laptop bag. That's all with me. In this cabinet right here is bottled water, a whole bunch of bottled water. We do have a trash can with trash and a recycle bin. That's just an old cat food, uh, excuse me, cat litter container. That's the cooler we had from traveling. Um, I need to, you know, put everything in the refrigerator that's our travel cooler bag as well. So here is the refrigerator. There you go. The kitchen, not the refrigerator. And here is the pantry. So uh, I will go through, I'm going to start off by telling you what these things are and then I will cut to the vlog where I talked about all of this. This is Clint's salsa, jalapenos, and ketchup. 
Those are all important things for me. We are in Texas. We are not in a deserted on a deserted island so we can get to Walmart. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in there, but I have my cauliflower bites. I have two different kinds of Lakanto sugars, the golden and the white. And I have my coconut flour. We have some cookies for Rob. These are drink mixes by Crystal Light for the water bottles. I pre-baked for me some cookies. These are coconut cookies. They are delicious. In fact, they're a little warm, so I'm gonna take them out of the pantry <laughs> and let them sit on the counter. Um, what else is in here? Oh, I made some crackers. Uh, this recipe I will leave linked for you in the description box as well. These are delicious. I love these crackers. If you have been watching our vlogs, um, we've been experimenting. I'm about to experiment with some flavors I picked up to add, make some flavorful. Oh, let's get these out of here. Put those in the fridge for Rob as well. <laughs> And then I picked up uh, these cauliflower crackers. They're not 100% grain free, but um, I'm okay with having a few of them. And uh, sometimes they just sort of are nice to have, especially when you're camping. And then I brought the sea salt flavor as well. These are ratio bars. I get these at Costco. I love these protein bars. They are delicious. And then here are the cauliflower pretzels. So they have cassava flour in them. I do okay with cassava flour in moderation. Some cookies for Rob and um, taco seasoning. I meant to bring my flavor guide taco seasoning and forgot. So there's all that in there. And then up here we just have some bread and these are the grain free chips for me. I try not to eat them. They're made with cassava flour. So again, in moderation I can have them not too many and then some tortilla chips back there for rob and then some baking powder and vanilla extract for me and then down here we have more drinks and of course my uh, soda water for me that's uh what is that stuff called seltzer water but it's a hint of dr pepper it's from kroger or dr k i love it some extra uh paper towels and then here is the refrigerator gas electric refrigerator and a freezer let you see what all we brought. I did meal plan. Um, if you are new, you, it's important for you to know that I live a grain-free life. I have severe allergies and intolerances, so I have to eat grain-free. And I, so therefore I follow the keto diet out of ease. There we go, we have a couple of frozen pizzas for Rob. We have two little frozen pizzas for me. My smart buns. I did pre-cook some um, chicken strips for myself. These are the, I love these, I love these. I will leave that video linked for you in the description box. Um, highfalutin low carb. Um, we're, we brought with us some butcher box beef because we're gonna be making tacos, the butcher box hot dogs, and the butcher box uh, hamburgers, and then some tater tots for Rob, and then a couple more little goodies for Rob, little mini pizzas and a Hot Pockets. So, and that fits in there. These are, you know, full-size pizzas, and it fits in this tiny little fridge. It's a freezer. And to open it, you just press the little button and it opens. Now in here, we of course have some drinks and I have my mayonnaise, some chocolate milk for Rob, salsa. I mean, it is us. And some salami and some pepperoni, my coffee creamer, avocados, and my little baby bell cheese that I love. We also, these are Rob's gummy bears. It was very hot in the trailer, so we put them in there so they didn't melt. Boars and cheese, some more hot dogs, some butter, bacon, eggs, um, my tortillas, these are by nomnom.com. I will leave that recipe linked for you. I braised some brisket before I left, so that's my brisket and onion. Drinks, some chocolate uh, pudding for Rob. And then down here we have sandwich meat, more cheese for me, cheese slices for me, and bottled water down in here. Um, I have read that the fuller your fridge is, the more efficient it is, the better it will cool, so it's pretty full. And over here is the stove the oven and the microwave. This is just a standard microwave. It is not a convection microwave. We did make an additional purchase and then brought with us a splash guard, a grease guard, just because, you know, I don't wanna make a mess in there and I don't have to clean it up. So there's that. And then here's the little stove top. This one does have an igniter. It sparks on its own and you can light it here. And then here is the oven. Very small, but efficient and it works. And uh, this little tea kettle, I use with my coffee press so and then some disinfectants and my sink up here in the cabinet because I'm renting this RV and I don't live in it and I don't have a permanent RV to stop 
I tried to be as efficient as I could. These are fast food storage or fast food containers, you know, that they bring you food in. I just wash them and save them to recycle should we need them. These as well, you know, little food comes in them. These are metal, so they'll go in the oven. Um, I often make pizza in a bowl and this type of thing. This is an air fryer pan. It's great for cooking french fries, reheating um, chicken strips and things like that. Keeps it nice and crispy. And the bottom of it is a nice pizza pan as well. And it's compact and will fit in the RV oven. These are toaster oven sized baking pans. We have some cupcakes. We have a baking tray. And we also have a um, cooling rack or a rack. You know, if you want to cook a couple slices of bacon on there, and a baking pan, like a uh, cake pan. So all of that nests right inside each other. I did go ahead and pick this up. I do have a toaster oven ho at home, so I can use them in there. Um, but I wanted something like this, small and compact, to bring with us instead of my full-size trays. I wasn't sure if they were going to fit in the oven. And here are our spatulas and things like that. They don't fit in the drawer. If this were a permanent RV, I'd have a little something to hold them and put them in, but this isn't. Some baking cups, some, excuse me, some baking cups, some cutting boards, a cheese grater, um, medications, uh, mints, gum, a salsa bowl because everybody needs a salsa bowl. My scale is right here, food scale. This is a coffee press. So if I just want to make a cup of coffee, which <laughs> you guys know me better than that, then you just make it in here. Let me disassemble it. It's an insulated mug, and then you just put your grounds down in there, and then uh, you pour your coffee, your water in over it, and then you put this little thing on, and you strain out your coffee, and you put the lid on. You've got a little travel cup. It's really convenient. Uh, it's nice on the cruise ships because you have hot water on the cruise ships. You know, it's screaming hot water. So you can bring an effect, you can bring your own coffee grounds and make your own particular brand of coffee on the cruise ships. So that's why I have this. Um, it's, it's come in handy <laughs> many times. Or you can also brew tea with it. These are, these are plastic plates, but they're washable. So we can reuse them. These are sit the same, they're plastic silverware, it's reusable. Um, these are some paper plates, they came in a subscription box. And these are fast food, um, not fast food, but frozen food containers that frozen food came in. I rinsed them and brought them with me. I was trying not to buy too, too much. I couldn't find little plastic bowls that would work in the microwave as well. So I thought, well, microwavable containers, they came in there frozen, you stick them in the microwave, so obviously they're microwave safe. So I just kept those for bowls and also cereal or whatever, even though I forgot to bring cereal. There's my coffee cup, my electrolytes, uh, some nut pod creamer, and my favorite tea. And there is some plastic cups just in case we need them. This is an excellent little coffee pot. If you want a single serve, it just pops open. Excuse me, it pops open. It's a single serve coffee pot. It's excellent. Um, I would be using this, except that our plugs, we can't get them to work. We are working on that. As soon as they work, then I'll switch to this. Little Brito filter, just because, even though we have a filtration system on the RV, um, attached to the RV, this, just a second step. Got some dishes that need to be done. That's my tripod, and these are some delicious cookies. This is my press. I did bring a press with my tea kettle just in case the mishap with the plugs happened. You know, a backup plan because I am a coffee junkie. Okay, and in here we have um, some towels, my frying pans, some hot pads, an extra sponge. I have my uh, panini press, which I love this. I love it. We have a splash guard and some frying pan, a frying pan, a bigger one for, you know, taco night or something, and a pit pot just in case. Some trash bags. I just saved these. Stuff came in this, and they were nice sized plastic bags, so I saved them. And then that is an electric skillet for cooking outside, and that is some more disinfectant. And in here we have a recipe, this clever little water bottle holder. Measuring cups and spoons. More of my favorite bottle caps. This is the uh, filter for the coffee pot over there. 
my favorite, absolute favorite uh, air diffuser, excuse me, diffusing oil. Backup filters for my press. We have a pizza cutter, a couple of large serving spoons, a, a pair of tongs, my favorite, favorite straws, uh, excuse me, silicone straws, a paring knife because sometimes you need a paring knife, a whisk, a pair of scissors, a uh, Santuku knife. I just this is just my favorite knife. This one needs to be retired. <laughs> I have purchased a new set and a spatula. So that is everything in here. Now let me take you into the bathroom. There's your Dometic toilet, and just in case you're new and you don't know how to work it, there is a foot flush right down here and it will flush there you go and it flushes the toilet and when you're done you just let your foot off so we have a towel here I have brought um, an extra towel and that is my magic not magic eraser that is the makeup eraser my contact solution hello and then in here all your little uh, dental floss uh, q-tips you know the little stuff like that some lotion I have some Advil and Tylenol in there and some nail polish um, strips for my nails just in case I need them this is a scrubby sponge for my face I will link these I love these it is an exfoliator it's rough so be prepared um, our toothbrushes are right here these are from Amazon I love these Amazon basic toothbrushes love them love them what a bargain that was I will link those as well. Um, little cotton rounds. I didn't bring my reusable ones because I didn't have enough to get me through the week. Some face wash, um, hair oil, micellar facial cleanser, dry shampoo, um, more of oh, that Thayer's, uh, th uh, this witch hazel stuff is fantastic, especially, I'm sorry, this is fantastic, especially if you're super hot. Some glow sunscreen oil, um, toothpaste, Pops deodorant, my deodorant, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray, fantastic stuff. You know, some uh, body spray, more sunscreen, face wash, face wash oils. There we go. That's everything. Let me just put this here. So there's everything. And then in here, a couple of uh, washcloths, some micellar cleansing cloths for my face, a brush. This is my makeup in here. This is an old Ipsy bag, came in Ipsy. A couple extra hair ties. These, you guys, if you're spending all that money on those silk hair ties, just go get these. I will link them. They're like $7.99, they're fabulous. They're satin. And then a couple of facial tissues. This is my hair wrap. This is my body wrap towel. I love this. It's from Target, it's fabulous. A couple of bath towels. And this mirror, which the plug is on the in the other room I have it in my tech bag uh, it's just a lighted mirror for me because I have very poor vision so I need lighted mirrors because I, otherwise I can't see to put on a lot of my makeup and then down here rather messily it got jostled around when we were driving we have four beach towels and that is a towel that we use on the ground and just in case you're curious here's the bathroom the shower um, I brought with me the Sol de Janeiro entire line. I bought the body wash, the lotion, the shampoo, and that's the body wash, shampoo and conditioner, the lotion, and the body spray. I absolutely love that stuff, and so does my hair and my skin and my body. If you have not tried that, I will leave it linked for you. It's fabulous stuff. It smells heavenly. Oh, bathroom smell good. Now here is the bedroom. So my shoes are down there. This is a comforter from home. This is our duvet cover from home. We have um, another towel kind of tucked up there. Um, swimming clothes, swimming shoes, water gear for our phones, water shoes. All of that is up there. I would imagine that'll end up just being over a chair outside at the campsite. And then my glasses are down here. There are all my clothes in there. Everything is in there. We have plenty of hanging space. This is some Caldrea linen spray. Uh, it's hot. We get sweaty. It's just a room freshener. And then in here is my husband's clothing. In here is my husband's clothing. 
everything he might need. Now, let me explain the bed. I am a bit of a germaphobe, so the mattress was bare. I put a mattress encasement cover on it. It fully encases the mattress. It's waterproof, dustproof. Um, basically, it's it's it won't touch your skin. The mattress won't touch your skin. That's what I wanted. Um, and then on top of that, I put. this which is a pad now it hasn't fully fluffed up yet but it's about it's supposed to be two or three inches maybe even more um, just a little extra cushion on top of the mattress because it is you know it's not the best mattress and then a sheet now you want a sheet that's got the extra stretchy around it because the mattress is an RV size queen mattress, which means it's a little bit smaller. Now, you're certainly welcome to go buy RV sized items, but they're much more expensive than just traditional queen size bargain sheets and things like that that you can find on Amazon. I will leave everything linked here. If you want to invest a little bit more, say you're gonna do this often and you know you're going to be in uh, RVs with queen size, RV queen size camper beds, by all means, go ahead and invest. But in our per our sp specific situation, we just didn't want to invest until we were 100% sure. And we do have a queen bed at home that we can use this on should we need to. So there we go. I know the lighting is terrible. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope that you'll subscribe. We're gonna have a little bit of a series on the renting of an RV, the little ins and outs, ups and downs, what to bring, what not to bring, all of that.